Hey Facebook, how are you doing? I got dressed today. Does it look like it? Yeah. Don't judge my fanny. <laughs> I love it and I don't care. Straight up now tell me da ba da ba da ba da 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 da. All right. I want to talk about something with you guys, something about myself. Um, have you ever felt or do you feel like a big old loser? I did for years, for years. I felt like a loser because I was totally unorganized. I'm a stay at home mom. I should have all the time in the world. Why am I so disorganized? I forgot about appointments all the time. I was overly tired, partly because I tried to sleep in and then stay up really late so that I had time away from the kids and I'd watch TV and stay up way too late. I was very tired. And when you're tired, well, I was very grumpy. I was impatient and I wasn't the mom that I wanted to be for my kids. I didn't want to cook. That made me feel like a loser. You know, I'm, I'm going, what, what, why was I not blessed with a desire to cook? I don't know. Other moms love it. Here I am hating life because I have to cook every night. Um, and because I didn't want to cook, guess what? I ate fast food a lot. Fast food doesn't make you feel good and energetic. It actually makes you feel like crap. So there was that. I felt like a loser because I wasn't bringing in an income. And I watched other moms, you know, get their degrees and maybe do life a little bit better or smarter. And I didn't want to be anywhere else but home. I wanted to be with my kids. I wouldn't have changed that. But I still felt like a loser. I felt like they are providing. They, you know, they're not relying 100% on their husbands to bring in an income. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with relying 100% on your husband's income. Not saying that. This is how I felt. I felt like a loser because I wasn't bringing in an income. You know, I, I got married right away and then had kids and we decided I was gonna stay home. That's, that's the route I chose. <laughs> and you know, it definitely had some consequences. I was trying to juggle everything, but dropping everything. I, I could not, I didn't feel like I was a good mom. I didn't feel like I was a good wife. I wasn't a good homemaker. Like. My house wasn't clean all the time. I didn't like to cook. I wasn't bringing in income. What the hell am I here for? What am I alive for? What am I around for? That's how I felt. And I can talk about it and straight up get emotional because it was very hard. Very hard. I can't even believe I'm emotional right now. <laughs> it was strong and it was real. It was so real. And would you believe that fitness changed that for me? Like, who would have thought that working out like those crazy exercise people would have changed my life the way it has? So what did I do? What did I do to change this? To not feel like a loser anymore? I started praying. And I've always been someone who's prayed. You know what I mean? But you can be a Christian and be very, very lost. You can, it's very possible. So I started praying and I started searching for what I could do. I knew that exercising had changed my mindset, gave me confidence, made me want to do things again. Because when you're in a place of darkness and struggle and trial, you don't have the motivation to want to do it. You're depressed. I just want to sleep and hide away and feel bad and watch TV and eat junk food and numb my pain. Let's pretend for a little while it's not real. But I started praying and I started searching and going, I feel better. Man, I want to help other moms feel better too. I think I'm going to become a certified trainer. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I, I went that way. I read T.D. Jake's book, Instinct. And that fired me up and I thought, this is, I think this is what I'm going to do. So I started doing that, right? And then I thought, you know what? I want my own 
online business. Thank you, Kara. I did makeup today. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Debbie, hi. I, I'm going to have my own online business because I want to be home. I don't want to go somewhere else. I don't want to have to be somewhere. So I become a trainer and I decide, you know what? I want to start bringing a little bit of income. Maybe I can go part-time um, and then just kind of get some training in the gym. So that's what I did. I got a part-time job and in shape and I became a trainer. And it was okay for a little while, but trying to find, you know, a place for Jane to go and trying to juggle, um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm sorry, lost my train of thought, trying to juggle my boys in hockey, uh, it, it was a struggle. And then my husband isn't off when, when a lot of people are off. He has shift work, you know, so he gets two weekends off a month and, it, it, you know, it's like, well, I got to work, sorry. And it, it, it just wasn't ideal. So I dime, I, I, okay. So as I'm searching and praying and trying new things, right? And praying, Beachbody came my way. I didn't look for a Beachbody. I wasn't looking for network marketing, but it found me. And after three times saying no, I decided, okay, I'm going to do it because a friend of mine needed Pio. And Pio is a great workout for someone with arthritis, okay? So I thought, I'm, I'm only going to do it for that. There's no business building here. I'm not, this little team, this little recruiting, this, uh, 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 mama don't sell, okay? We all know that. Mama don't sell. You don't sell. Who sells? No, that's yucky. So I finally say, yeah, I start the training and I realized, whoa, this is not what I thought it was. This is different. I really kind of love this. But but let me let me tell you what happened. A, a big part of Beachbody is our personal development. And that means we read books, we listen to books, and we put good stuff into our minds. We learn. So I read books like Eat That Frog and No Excuses by Brian Tracy. And it taught me how to organize myself from what's most important to, okay, this is down here. And you read those and you listen to those over and over and over again. And you read books like The Compound Effect where you learn, you learn that you are either going in the direction that you wanna go by the little things you do every day, or you go in a direction you don't wanna go by doing nothing. And there's no such thing as nothing. You are eating healthy and doing good or you are eating crap and you're taking yourself somewhere you don't wanna go. Like these are the things that I was learning, you know, that, that those good things you're doing, it's like you're pumping a well and nothing's coming out. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden little drops and you feel like I did all this work for a drop. I did all this exercise for a pound, but you gotta remember that it's like, it takes time, right? But, but I wouldn't know that if I didn't read if I didn't read. So I wanna give you a tip today. Go get a book like Eat That Frog or No Excuses by Brian Tracy or The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and read it over and over again. You are not a loser. You have a purpose. You are important, okay? You have a fire inside of you. It might be dim right now. It might be this little tiny flicker, but the Lord, let the Lord do his work in you. And it may not be what you think. It may not be, well, I just like read my Bible all the time. Read it every day, absolutely. But when you get books like The Compound Effect, and when you learn from other people who are successful, your life is going to change. Let God use things that you might not think. You guys, I said no to Beachbody. Who wants that cheesy thing anyway? God was like, you do, you just don't know it because it's called Beachbody and you think it's something that it isn't. You guys, Beachbody's changed my life. <laughs> and I ain't rich yet, <laughs> okay? So it's not just like about that. It's not just about money. Like, I get to help people for free. I get to come on live and tell you about the amazing books that I've been reading and how it's changing my world. How it's changing my world, okay? 
So I just want to encourage you today that you are not a loser. God has big, big things for you. You got to keep praying. You got to take action. You got to start reading. You got to start listening to other things. You got to start spending time with Jesus first thing in the morning so that he is the one guiding you first thing. Okay? But don't be scared to, to try something new, to be somebody different. I'm giving you permission right now to be somebody different. I know I, this is something that I tell new coaches. They start with me and they go, I don't really know anyone. Now I'm going to be posting on Facebook and I just don't want people to think I'm fake or I'm not real. And I said, you have the right to change. You need to hear this right now. You have the right to change. People will, yeah, not understand. They will question you. They will make fun of you. They'll believe that, oh, look, she's just, she's getting into something else now. Prove them wrong. Who cares? Who cares? You have the right to change. You have the right to love who you are, to post on Facebook, to share your journey, to help other people, because there is only one you. And you're either going to believe the lies, believe that you're a loser, or you are going to say, you know what, there's one me. And I was predestined for good works. Amen. Receive that. You were predestined for greatness and nothing less. You rely on God and I promise you, I pro there's going to be hard times. It's not all going to be perfect. The road ain't going to be straight. But in Jesus' name, you're going to get up again and you're going to change. I am a testament to that. Look at my before photos. I was this skinny, depressed Mom with no purpose who felt like a freaking loser. Now, I don't think I'm the you know what right now, but I am, am very happy, very happy with what God has done. And God did it. God used Beachbody to start changing my mindset. Okay? So quit, quit putting yourself last. Quit putting it off. You know, if you need a home workout program and a meal plan, baby, send me a message right now. Don't wait on it. That's what changed my life. It changed me. So if you're ready to get out of your depression and stop feeling like a loser, let's take action today. The day I decided I'm not going to be last anymore and I'm going to do whatever it takes is the day that my life changed. And it will pour. It will overflow into every other area of my life. Now I'm not looking internally. Now I'm not going, oh, poor me. Oh, how can I change me? Now I'm asking, how can I help you? How can I help other people? How can I be used by God to just bring it? Let what happened to me can happen to you. Who, who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's with me? Because you're not a loser. There's a purpose and there's a plan. If you're ready to change your life, send me a message. I love you guys. Jessica, Kelly, Nicole, Monique, uh, everyone who jumped on this video, thank you for watching. I always appreciate you coming in here. Hey, Mama, coming in here, supporting me, you know, and, and commenting. I appreciate it so much. You guys, share this video. Lori, love you. Share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. There's a mama in a dark place who needs to hear it. I love you guys. Kara, thanks for jumping on. I will talk to you later. Have a blessed Monday. It's Monday, right? Is it Monday? It's Monday. <laughs> Have a blessed Monday. <laughs>